Ladies and gentlemen, unprecedented global crises, climate change, COVID-19, and conflicts raging around the world are steadily eroding the last decade of development achievements. Food shortages, energy shocks, and inflation are wreaking havoc in nations rich and poor. For the second year in a row, the world is no longer making progress on the sustainable development goals. But nothing short of effective public-private partnerships can create the change that humanity so desperately needs. But rather than simply restoring yesterday's economic models, we need new forms of financing that can focus on long-term sustainability rather than just short-term profits. The UN Global Compact is a catalyst for transforming the global business community. Our 10 principles on human rights, labor, environment, and anti-corruption provide companies with a roadmap to increase business competitiveness and make progress on the SDGs. But globally, our participants rank supply chain practices as the biggest challenge to improving their sustainability performance. When done right, a global supply chain can deliver significant benefits to companies and communities. But when done wrong, by not considering the environmental, social and governance performance of suppliers, impacts on people and ecosystems, as well as the company's reputation, can be devastating. We encourage companies to make sustainability a priority from the top of the organization and throughout. This includes looking at their supply chain as an extension of their workforce. By upholding the same human rights and labor principles throughout, companies can improve conditions and sustainability at every location and level of operations. The international nature of supply chain links them to sustainable development targets worldwide. For example, living wages are key to reducing inequality and achieving the sustainable development goals. In 2021, the UN Global Compact launched a call for our more than 15,000 companies then to provide a living wage regardless of contractual arrangements. To extend this commitment throughout the supply chain, buyers must look more carefully at the policies and practices of their suppliers. They must provide an enabling environment through responsible procurement practices. And special attention needs to be paid to companies operating in the bottom tiers of the supply chain, where labor and environmental risks are often the highest. Ladies and gentlemen, China plays a significant role in stabilizing the global supply chain. As the world's largest developing country, China has not only been home to the highest number of Fortune 500 companies over the past four years, it also has more than 44 million small and medium-sized enterprises. The scale and potential of the impact of the Chinese business community is vital to making progress on the global goals. To support these efforts, the UN Global Compact has developed resources to help companies navigate the complex issues involved. The Decent Work Toolkit for Sustainable Procurement, the Guide to Traceability and the Practical Guide for Continuous Improvement can help companies set and achieve goals for more sustainable supply chains. Many of these materials have been translated into Chinese to better assist our participants. You can find academy sessions and training resources both online and in person in China. This year, we also launched two global accelerator programs in China. The Climate Ambition Accelerator helps companies set and keep net zero targets based on climate science. And the Target Gender Equality Accelerator supports companies in empowering women. Both of these programs address issues critical for supply chain sustainability. Ladies and gentlemen, it's clear that solutions to many of the world's most pressing problems can be found within the business community. Companies have a unique opportunity to make progress on the SDGs by insisting on responsible and sustainable supply chains. I'm truly encouraged by the increasing engagement of Chinese companies in this vital transformation. This is only the beginning of a fruitful long-term partnership. And so I hope our continued collaboration will accelerate progress towards a more sustainable and resilient future for China and for the world. Xie xie.